in other news, we had Don Lemon here. This guy's still around. I, I can't believe that him, Brian Stelter, and Anderson Cooper, like their lead lineup at CNN, are still able to actually be on there. It's, they, they just got new leadership, right? They ousted the old CEO, I believe it was. They're, they're trying to figure out the problem by being more like middle rather than far progressive left. But yet the ratings for Brian Stelter and Don Lemon are just absolutely in the trash. And then they can't figure out why they're still not getting anybody to watch their station. You literally have YouTubers that get more views than CNN does. And to give that perspective, I've been on this channel, The Bald Brad Show, for what? Since February of 2021. And I literally have half the subscribers that CNN Plus had. That puts it in perspective. But they're still going to like trot this knucklehead out to say asinine things. So... He appeared on CNN's New Day Thursday morning and once again urged the media to hold Republicans to a different standard than Democrats in the media coverage. We see this all the time, but I want you to hear it from Don Lemon's mouth himself. Let's go ahead and roll the clip. Speaking very soberly about the realities of America and American politics right now. We sit around and we talk about these things and we, we want to give this false equivalence to Democrats and Republicans. That is not where we are right now. Republicans are doing something that is very dangerous to our society. And we have to acknowledge that. We have to acknowledge that as Americans. We must acknowledge that as journalists. Because if we don't, we're not doing our jobs. We cannot sit here and pretend like, well, you, Republicans, it's a, cut them a break. Let's, we want to hear what it, they have a lot to answer for in this moment. A lot to answer for what happened with the former president of the United States. Why they allow his antics to go on for so long why he is not accountable, why they go along with it and don't say anything, they've got to an answer for that. Why they are, whether you agree with abortion rights or not, why they have taken back a right that was what the, you know, that was granted to uh, American women for 50 years. They have to answer for those questions. If they come here on CNN, they must answer for that. If they go on MSNBC, they must answer for that. If they go on ABC, they must answer for that. And they cannot expect to be coddled when they go on to a news organization or if they step in front of a crowd of supporters and so, or of voters or of Americans. So folks, folks, it amazes me that somebody could be so empty headed and say asinine things and still become a primetime TV host. And not just that but be trotted out on other left-wing outlets to continue to say asinine things, all the while getting paid millions of dollars. I mean, hell, do you need any more proof that the American dream is still thriving? And this guy had the balls to say the threat of growing extremism on the right, and he also warned journalists to not give a false equivalence to both sides and instead acknowledge Republicans were endangering America. We just got done spending four years watching the Democrat Party and the progressive left burn our cities to the ground causing billions of dollars in damages. And this guy's going to be pushing out this whole January 6th hubbub where you got a bunch of idiots storming the Capitol that didn't even cause anywhere near, anywhere near the damage that we watched the Democrat Party do in the progressive left. They literally have stores fleeing from Democrat-ran states because of the crime that Democrats are pushing and allowing, i.e. Starbucks and Walgreens. We just did a story where Starbucks removed 16 stores from all the Democrat-ran cities, Los Angeles, Portland, Seattle, Washington, D.C., Philadelphia. He's not going to talk about that. He's going to push a Republicans were endangering America and still are. Literally, you have smash and grabs happening in Los Angeles right now. You have homeless people attacking Olympians, U.S. Olympians in Democrat ran cities, but we're endangering America. Are you kidding me? You have critical race theory being taught to your children. You have that teachers basically implementing curriculum saying that America is nothing but racist. And then if you're white, you're racist. And if you don't acknowledge that, you're even more racist. How that makes sense, I don't know. But this is stuff they're going to push. They're going to have these freaking drag queens go out and strip tease in front of your children while your children take your hard-earned money that you gave them for lunch and start tipping them. All this stuff's being trotted out. But remember, Republicans are endangering America. All the while, Democrat Party's allowing 1.5 plus million people this fiscal year alone and turn our country being unbedded sometimes and for the most part. You have terrorists coming through. MS-13 gang members coming through, drug cartel coming through, fentanyl coming through, all these things. But again, Republicans are endangering America. This is CNN for you. This is Don Lemon for you. And then they still can't grasp why nobody watches their station. They still can't grasp why people aren't flocking to them because they still haven't fired this guy. They still haven't fired Brian Stelter and others who nobody wants to listen to because they're asinine and they claim they're unbiased. Don Lemon, 
Yes, still claims that he is unbiased. Just so trustworthy. Well, a Pew survey of nearly 12,000 journalists found that a majority of journalists, 55%, reject the idea that both sides always deserve equal coverage. Lemon was referring to Republicans who continue to support President Donald Trump after the January 6, 2021 riot at the Capitol, as well as the recent Supreme Court ruling to overturn Roe v. Wade. I love how he talks about how literally he was saying that women were granted that right. Uh, how can they be granted that right when it was the Supreme Court that ruled on Roe v. Wade and before Griswold v. Connecticut? The Supreme Court can't grant rights, but they did grant rights in Griswold v. Connecticut. They literally said as much that the Bill of Rights creates a shadow, in other words, a penumbra, and within those penumbras and shadows that you can find other rights, even though it eluded and evaded 176 years going from the founders and other legislatures to that present time. Nobody ever found them before, but you know they just have a magical wand where they can just find whatever the hell they want. Furthermore, it created more legislation, again, the judiciary did, in Roe v. Wade by determining when you can have abortion and which trimesters and such. But, you know, Don Lemon is going to trot all this out because it's Republicans, folks, that are endangering America, not the Democrat Party. The Democrat Party has been endangering America since freaking basically its founding, the Democrat Party's founding, Ku Klux Klan, slavery, amongst a freaking litany of other things, abortion, endangering America. You're literally killing 19 million black babies since Roe v. Wade was implemented. You're upwards of millions upon millions was like 60 million babies have been killed since Roe v. Wade or something like that. I mean, how more endangering can you get by killing innocent children? He made a similar play in June saying, we cannot pretend as journalists that both sides are equal. Lemon referred to an interview he did with a former spokesperson for the Oath Keeper saying Republicans have become associated with extremists. He rejected any Republican opposition to that belief. Quote, you have the inmates running the asylum. Basically, you have extremists because I know they are Republicans sitting out there going, Don Lemon, that's not what we are. Maybe it's not what you are, but it's what your party has become and what you have allowed to happen. So creating this fictitious thing in his mind, and we've talked about this a lot on the show, where the Democrats will say that we don't understand them, that we don't get it, even though we literally went through their indoctrination camps from K through 12th and even in the college if we went to college, and we had to hear all their crap for literally our entire lives and that we know it like the back of our hands, but it just shows you how far away they are from the Republican Party and conservatives in terms of understanding us and what we actually believe in. I'd actually personally, I know this anecdotal. I don't know a single Republican and I haven't heard a single Republican come out and say that they were okay with January 6th. Haven't seen a single one, but this is stuff they're going to push. Americans have less confidence in the media than they've had in decades. According to a recent published Gallup poll, only 16% of Americans said they have a great deal or quite a lot of confidence in newspapers in 2022, while only 11% said the same about television news. I mean, if it's those kind of ratings just across the board, can you imagine how much faith people have in CNN? Probably not a lot. And Don, you haven't been doing your job because people have faith in you as well. And that's why we're doing this episode today to bring out more fake news. And Donald Trump might be back in 2024 to hit you with a little little something, something. Uh, Don Lemon. Okay. Jim Acosta. Brad Stelter. All those things. So there you have it. Don Lemon saying asinine things and still being chauffeured out by CNN. They don't care. They'll, they'll, they're not worried about the ratings. They literally said so as much. And the reason why I want to bring that up is because you have the president of the United States, the, the White House, the administration saying that they're not looking at their poll numbers either. So there's like this, there's this thing among leftists and the Democrats where they don't want to look at the truth because if they face it, then their whole, their whole belief system, everything just crumbles. And we, we see this time and time again, where we show them facts from the right, we actually show them the proof and they don't want to believe it. And they don't want to believe it. Cause like I said, then, then it's just earth shattering for them. Everything falls apart and then they just fall in depression. I hope you enjoyed that clip from the bald Brad show. If you did, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date on all our future content.